Uh, I'm gonna try to make this kind of short because some of my videos have been a little long. So I do wanna make this a little short, but um, yeah. So I'm here because I wanna talk about my hair. I've been on this journey for a year and it's been interesting. Uh, I definitely thought my hair would look one way and it looks completely different than what I thought it was gonna look, but I've kind of learned to embrace it. So we got a lot going on. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about was dryness. So my hair mm, is on the dry side. So I'll say this, when I was not locked, um, I had never had an issue with dry hair. My hair was usually pretty good. Even if I colored it, it was pretty good. Um, especially because I would like do leave-in conditioners and things like that. Anyways, um, I don't know too much about locks. I'm gonna be honest, during my journey, I really haven't had like, like a mentor in this and so um i've kind of had to figure it out on my own so i decided to color my locks so in the lock community they kind of say it's a no-no right but i did it anyway because when it comes to my hair i do whatever i want to do to it whenever even if it's not the healthiest i'm like i'll figure it out so anyways i wanted to go to lighter because it was the summer and since I went lighter, I think I want to stay lighter in general. Um, I could, I'm could, i going to put up a picture of what my locks look like when I installed them. Uh, and then you'll see me with like dark hair. And then you'll see what I look like now, obviously. But anyways, uh, when I colored my hair, I did use box color. So I went to cosmetology school. Rule number one, you do not use box color. It has like too many things in there that are not healthy for your hair but i'm not gonna lie i was trying to go to the cheapest route the easiest route when i want something oh there goes my hello fresh i'll be right back all right so i left off on talking about box color so like i said it's a no-no but when i want something i want it right then and there and i'm like i don't want to wait i'm gonna go do it so i went a lot of stuff happened as you can see i have like tons of different colors in my hair it's grown out now because i did this like a couple months ago but if you could see i the back is darker anyways a lot happened but i was like it is what it is i'm not gonna color it dark whatever what i did notice is um after i did color my hair it got dry it was like, I would go like this, and it would be like crunchy. And at first I'm like, okay, well maybe that's just how it is. But then I'm like, everybody kept talking about like, locks that were moisturized, and I'm like, okay, my stuff is just dry. Like, it shouldn't be crunching like that. And so, I kind of started doing like, stuff here and there, and I bought some products that I did well, I do like, um, and I'll talk about that in another video. Okay, so anyways, um, but anyways, one day, um, I was doing my daughter's hair. She doesn't have locks, um, but she has 4C hair, so I was doing her hair, and I put some shea butter in it, you know, to kind of like soften it up or whatever. I had the idea, let me try it. I did it when I was like a loose natural. What, let me see how it works. Oh my God, life changer. I will say this, a lot of people are like, just use water and uh, rose water and all these, and I was doing just water. Just water was not helping. Let me tell you, this game changer, and a lot of people are like, don't use other products because the product build up and which, okay. But I feel like sometimes you have to do what you have to do for your hair. And I'm at that point where even if it's not like the conventional route or the route in which, you know, people recommend, I'm the one that has to walk around with my hair like this 
um, no one else, right? I'm the one that gets frustrated uh, when I do feel that crunch. And I'm like, I got to do what I got to do. So put it in my hair. I put just a little bit because I didn't want to do too much. I didn't know how I was going to feel. It's, I, I wish you, you guys could see the before and after. When I mean zero crunch, zero crunch. I mean, it's, it's game changer. Now, what I, so what I'll say is I'm using the whipped one. So let me open it up. So it's already like whipped. Um, I don't know what the other one could be like. I'm not sure, but this is so much easier to just kind of grab because it's already kind of melted down or whatever. Let me show you how I do it. So I grab maybe like this much and then I do this. Now, if you could see, it's like, it's not that much. Like I do it to where I could coat my hands, but it's not like cakey. It's literally like just glazed over my hands. Like, so it's not a lot. And I do this maybe like twice a week, maybe, or once. Um, and then obviously I really start with the back cause that's where it's like really dry. And then I kind of just do one of these. Um, but like I said, game changer. Every morning I do wet my hair because when I take it out the bonnet, it's like all, right? And so I, I do water my hair every day. Um, sometimes I'll put rose water in it, maybe like once a week. I also have this other product. And again, I'm gonna do a review on that. Um, that I use maybe like every other day. But what's made complete difference is the shea butter. It, it, game changer y'all if you have dry locks even with like because of color if they're dry i'm telling you I, i'm sure if you end up getting some product build up in your locks i'm sure you could do that cleanse or whatever that people do um i'm not there yet i maybe but i don't feel like i put that much on so it's enough where it's just like a thin little layer I wish, I wish you guys could like touch my hair. Zero crunch. I went from literally like doing one of those where it was, it was bad. Like it was bad to like literally nothing, no crunch, super soft. Um, I, I just, I can't even explain it. I would say if you are in the situation that I was in, try it out. If you like it, cool. If not, okay, cool. There's so many other products out there that I'm sure you could use. You could do deep uh, conditioners, I mean, where, you know, where you go under the dryer or whatever, which I'm still gonna do. I wanna try it. Um, but if you want something that you can do at home without having to wait to get an appointment and stuff, I really, I, and it doesn't have to be this brand. This I bought, I don't know, I think at my local beauty salon, but. Um, this one that's already whipped is bad, <laughs> works for me. Now, if you want to get the one that's like kind of chunky or whatever, that's cool too. Anyways, I hope this helps. Good luck. Um, if there's anything else that you've tried that is maybe um, a little more conventional, put it in the comments and I would love to see, maybe try it out. But like I said, for me, this is working right now. Um, and I probably won't stop using it. I'm going to be honest. And I, yes, I am going to keep coloring my hair. I, I just am. Like you can see, it's time. My friend has kind of convinced me to let it be for a while. But obviously, like I'm going to want to, I need a retie, y'all. And that's a whole nother story. But for right now, this is what my hair is right now. I'll go into the coloring. I'll go into the products. Why I got micro locks. Why I decided to go on this journey i'll do that in a whole nother video but for right now i know people are struggling with dry hair and it's very annoying it's very frustrating so hope this works let me know if you try it and it works out for you bye youtube